So when I'm driving past, when I'm walking past, I when I hear this, I say, Jesus, I thank you. But you know, see the marketing, then what am I getting? Yeah. You know, and pirates just come up everywhere. And but that is not the important thing. The important thing is about vision. The important thing yeah. is about ministry. It's a call. Like when I wanted to do all this, people were asking me that about why are you doing gospel? Why are you doing only gospel? Are you not a businessman? And one thing that makes business is variety. Yeah. You should be able to have variety. You should be able to get different kind of music from different secular world and combine and make money and say, no, this is what I want to do. So at a point in time before you know it, God helped me. And uh, it became that. And Mama was everywhere. And from there, I saw you grow so much. Honesty began to grow. So that's nothing like the word of God. That's nothing like obedience. Yeah. And you know, yeah. we struggled before we actually agreed yeah. to do that. Album. We were yeah. afraid what is going to happen from here and there. But I told you, I said, no. I have seen what is happening. And I know. And I thank God we did. Yeah. And from there, Frank Edward went global. From there, yeah. honesty went global. Yeah. Yeah. And it was an important meeting. So meeting you is, I appreciate God the day I meet you. I met okay. with you. And it has been awesome. So from there, we thank God for what he has done. We thank God for how fire has brought us. He has helped us to start, to grow. Yeah. And I thank God that the relationship never, you know. Yeah. You know, he has been there, the appreciation, everybody appreciate each other, what you have done, you know. And like, as you said, I can remember then one day like that, I came to the studio, even when we were recording, we had the money coming that time. And uh, your system just packed up. I don't know if yeah, you can remember I that. Remember. I looked at myself and said, wow, why would that happen? I jumped into computer village and we were able to get something yeah. and work continue. Sometimes, you know, but I thank God for that which he started. And it's a beautiful thing. So yeah. I thank God for meeting you and I thank God for the opportunity of seeing and you today coming here. I know is the beginning of new thing. Yeah. Time yeah. out is not just man's idea. It's God yeah. and the honesty creed. There's something I believe that God have started, has started and he wants to do. And only him can take all the glory. Yes. So the next question I want to ask is this, is what are the major challenges? You know, I tell people as a preacher also that it's very easy to manage when things are not working. Yeah. But when you come to a certain level in life, um, some favor have come, God has brought you to where... To, for you to stay there, it takes a lot, sir. Yeah. So I don't know how you are able to do that. Well, <laughs> it's, um, it's a lot of discipline. And you know what has helped me? I, would, I wouldn't say, oh, it's because I'm too disciplined. Because I'm, you know, but what has helped me is foundation. Wow. You know, I grew up um, with a mother who is a scripture union. <laughs> yeah. Do you understand? So yeah. scripture union. So I have that in my brain it's in my blood system where you wake up and all you're thinking is fellowship church fellowship That's it. so from monday to, to sunday, sunday we are in church wow you know so from monday to sunday we are in church you know so and again seeing where god brought me from where i'm coming from you know begin to ask yourself what is really there to, to be proud about wow do you understand because these changes we are talking about, if it's just for grace, when you were, in, you know, you know, paying for that album, doing all the things you were doing, it's not like you were too sure, yeah, that you will get your money back. <laughs> you yeah. know, you see, so it's just the the grace of God that you know has elaborated everything. So every day, you know, I remind myself where God has picked me from. Yeah. I remind myself, you know. The same friends that I had then, it's the same people that are still in my life, you know. Wow. I didn't try to, okay, let me now make new friends because level, level has That's changed, it. you know, and everything. And again, is, oh, I've also you know, learned that when God brings you to a place, when God elevates you, yes, material things will come, material blessings will come, money will come, but at no point should you focus on the material thing hmm. 
and the money because that place you begin to lose it number you know once you once you shift focus you're not able to receive again hmm. you know once pride comes in hmm. productivity will begin to drop yeah. you will dry without knowing and you will still be thinking i'm big i'm big i'm big and then you're drying up you know so that's one thing that i've i said to myself that has actually helped me is to always remember you know where, you are where god from pick me from, yes. you know, and to also, you know, open, just retain the same people who struggled with you, yeah. the same people who prayed with you, the same people who believed with you, who knew you when there was nothing. nothing. You still stay connected to them, and then, you know, you're like growing together, and that's the reason why, I mean, we've been working together since 2009 or yeah. 8. Yeah. Yeah. Since so how many that's years now? It's, almost 15 years. Yes, it's been, you know, almost 15 years now. And why is that possible? I think it's because we both understood the vision. That is it. You know, that there were it. also some things you shared with me that God, you know, you wanted that. And today you're already doing them. That is it. You know, so it's, 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 it's focus. The only thing is focus because by the time you, you know, you started distributing, everybody knew Honesty Music. Everybody now Every wants to work with you. Everybody. Yes, everybody knew Honesty Music. People were meeting me. Yeah. So he introduced me to Honesty Music. I said, I didn't even introduce myself. He just heard my music. That is it. Do you understand? I never, I, I, I didn't, you know, take my CD to go and beg Honesty Music, please sell my CD. He just heard it by himself and he, he thought that this is, you know, good enough. And then here we are. So, it, it, if you, what, what I believe is that once you stay in your place of building, when it's your time, someone who matters will find you. That is it. No matter where you are. That is it. No matter where you are, they will find you. So it's not about your location. It's about what you're doing in your location. Hmm. It's not about where you are. It's about what are you doing where you are. Yeah. Because one day, that thing will produce its results, whether you like it or not. That is it. If you're doing something bad, no matter where you're doing it, one day it will produce a bad result. Yeah. If you're doing something good, even if you're in the... In a, in a hole, one day, out of that hole, light will shine. Yeah, that is it. Light will shine out of that hole. So it's never about your location. It's about what are you doing, you know? What, why we are talking here today is because of what you did. Why we are talking is because of what I did. Because you did what God asked you to do. And you did what I did what God asked me to do. That is it. And that is why we can stay here to inspire, Others. you know, you know, other people today. So the staying power is actually in remembering where you're coming from. Just, you know, keep your eyes on the goal. You know, then when definition came out, it looked like, ah, can anything beat this record? <laughs> <laughs> because the song was so good. Even myself, I'm like, no, how do I beat this record? Me that. How do I beat this record? Because the song, and then... Somebody told me that. You know, when we were discussing one day, somebody told me, and he said, whatever he's going to do, cannot be compared to definition yeah <laughs> and i happens to be in the studio with you and what i have heard as i don't know what i'm talking about <laughs> just let's watch out and see <laughs> and uh, one thing i can testify to everyone you see this thing is not joke yeah i know many times i've come to your place you walk from morning to the next morning i will be in the studio we'll be in the studio by by 11, 11 12, 12 before i'll be driving back you will walk and by the time i come tomorrow morning you're already telling me there's a song there's something there's this that god has given to me and i said do you sleep do you actually eat everything was recording work 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 and i i appreciate god for your life i appreciate yeah, god for your life you. because i can see you know, seeing you and where you are coming from and where you are today is awesome. Hallelujah. It's something that I pray that people should be able to understand. Like what you say is key. A lot of people, they fail because when they started and money begins to come in, they lose focus. They lose focus. Just one song. Just one, one song. single. Because people now praise you. They now invite you here and there. And then the person lose focus. You, you no longer can talk to them. You can't, can't talk listen. to them. And what I always tell people, no matter how big you get, yeah, don't forget the people who helped you in the past. Very and that's what most people do. Yeah. Once they release that one song and everybody's talking, they can even tell you, ah, honesty is now, <laughs> let me, it's now nobody, let me, you know. And they just push everybody aside and then pride kicks in. And then you see them. Funny. They are never crossing that one song. 
That is it. You know, so, so when you listen to the definition and you think that's all, then you hear the unlimited and you think that's all, then there is frankincense. It's when you see a pattern, then there is a, a walking behind it. There's an attitude wow. to every pattern you see. Hmm. You know, if you do it once, they say, okay, yeah, it's a mistake. If you do it twice, they say, okay, it's a coincidence. But when it becomes a pattern, it becomes there a is something this person is doing wow. that is working. It becomes a habit. Yeah. A habit of excellence. Excellent. I mean, it was not after you marketed um, definition. You still did Nathan Elbasi. Yeah. It, the same anointing was present. The same thing. You still did um, Mesichimo. The same anointing. Yeah. You did Ada. The same. You know, so when you see a pattern, just know that there is something this person is doing that is working. It's not a mistake. Wow. Yeah. Thank you for that, sir. Yeah. That's beautiful. And I believe that those that are watching us are listening. Uh, I believe that this is very educative. You have known the man Frank Edwards on the stage. He's not a talking type. He's not a talking type. For him to grant this interview, it has to be me that will have to pull him out. Because this is my first interview in maybe like in seven years. <laughs> because he's not that type that likes talking. He likes to be on his own. He's someone I know that he can decide to always is music, music, music in the studio, in the studio, in the studio. So for me to bring this and the, take it uh, is, is, is awesome. And I thank God for that grace and that opportunity that God has yeah. given to us. So please, learn from what you are saying today. Learn from what you are saying today. All you out there, the upcoming, you are still going to say, I think you have said that. You need to listen. Yeah. You know, one of the challenges that people have that they don't allow that with God started in their life to grow. To grow. They quench it by their attitude and character. They begin to be, be, be arrogant. They begin to think that they have known. And they don't need even where they started from. They have overgrown yeah. where they have started from. That's always the challenge. And you see them falling and falling until you don't even hear about them again. So I thank you for coming, yeah. sir, for sharing this in time out with Honesty Creed. I thank God for this opportunity. For those that are watching us today, please. Uh, the next question I want to ask is that, Thank God you have answered the next one because you are still standing. That was how are you still standing. Mm. And I think you have shared that, how you are still standing. And I wanted to ask also about honesty music, the role they played in your life. You have already said it before, before yeah. I asked the question. So I'm just ticking the box. And looking at it again, where are you now? And where do you see God taking you to? Because I, 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 for me, as far as I'm concerned, I know there's something even bigger than what you are doing. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. Well, I usually tell people, you can sometimes, when you see someone who is hungry and who doesn't have anything, you can say they are humble. But wait until God gives them money. That is it. <laughs> that is the challenge. Yeah. You know, when you see a hungry, someone who is struggling, and you see their low state, you can just call them humble. Mm-mm. Wait until they have money. Something. That's when you will know who they are. If they, because what money does is just it just amplifies your character. That's it. That character that you've been hiding that people don't know. When you have money, people will know it. That is it. You know because you begin to do more of it. If you're a proud person, just looking, the immediately money comes like this. Nobody. Something else. Yes. Nobody will hear anything again. You know. So the thing is, when God began to, you know bless me I, 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 I'm more focused on where he's has brought me from yeah. and where he's taking me to I'm not focused in the present I'm not a do you understand I'm never focused in the present no, one thing that shocked me was <laughs> we just released the melody album yeah. and um, yeah melody album we just released melody album yes and um, I think in two months or three months yeah you called me that already have another 15 songs. Yeah. I was like, excuse me? No. Are you trying to tell me that you have done this before? And you say no. After Melody, in three months. So, that hunger is, I mean, oh, the Lord will bless you, sir. Yeah, it's because I'm never, I don't stay in the present. So, I'm not the one that when you come and tell me, man, do you know how big you are? My response is usually, I don't know. I don't want to know it's not important because pride 
does not actually fall on you like the anointing. Hmm. It starts small, small. Wow. It starts by listening. The way faith comes by hearing. That's how Christ starts. So if someone tells you, do you know how big you are? Do you know I, was, I went to this place, they were talking about you, I went to this place. Then you start to entertain it. Hmm. And you start to think, ha, that means I should stop answering my own calls by myself or by now. Hmm. But I should, I, should, I should stop. That means there are people I shouldn't be talking to by now. In fact, that means... Let me. So based on what you have heard, you begin to pattern your life. You begin to pattern fake life for yourself. Begin to put on ego that actually shouldn't be just because someone told you, told you that oh they are playing your music do you know how big you are so when people try to tell me that i'm like well i don't know i don't they, when you know when um after we released um definition okay. and you know i was with uh, river state government yeah like youth ambassador i've worked with her excellency which you know of of course at that time you know because of what i was doing for them i mean i had escort most of the times Especially when we go to the local governments to do a few things for them, organize program and allow them yeah. to do their political thing. I have, you know, so at some point, I started to get used to that life where you you have siren, you have police escort. I started to get used to it, and God had to remind me, hey, this is not who you are. Wow. God had to yes because you know like I said, pride it kicks in. Yeah. And you know then it was a, a necessity, but because. I was doing it all the time. You know, it was becoming me. God has to remember, this is not who you are. Remember where I brought you from. Remember? It was me by myself. I, I chased everybody away. Wow. Yeah, I even chased, chased my driver. I drive since for almost six, seven years now. I've been driving myself. I don't have a driver. Wow. Because I can't sit down at the back of my car and have someone father or someone who's supposed to be my father driving me. I will now be ordering him around. I couldn't do that. Do you understand? And I'm not saying the people who are doing it that is bad, but that's my own training. That's yeah. my own revelation. Yeah. It keeps my mind on check. That is it. Not to do that. It just keeps my mind on check. I can't be ordering someone further around. Oh, go this left. Oh, go this left. Oh, go. You know. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, there's nothing wrong with that. But for me, to put my mind together with God and just remain low, and allow God to keep lifting him, lifting me, that's what I needed to do. Wow. You know. So I did that. And so when it comes to you know, humility, you put yourself on check every time, you know. So, and by the reason of that, God has done so much. God has done so much. A lot is happening, you know, yeah. now, which you know of. Yeah, you know, there's so much happening now. I'm, I'm just not a loud person, you know, but there's so much happening. And then um, we are also thinking of, um, which I'm going to talk with you too, to raise more people. Beautiful. And not just to raise more people, to raise more people with the mindset of what we know. That is it. Because, yes, you can't just raise vagabonds. You can't just raise people who just want to sing and lack training. That is it. Once they, they will you bring know, more problems. Yeah, they will create more problems. So we have to you know, raise more people who have the mind of God, who understand what ministry is, who will tell the story of where God has brought us from. Let them know the story behind the glory that they celebrate. That is it. You know, so that they will walk the right path. You know, so I think that is the next thing for me now. Yeah. Because there's nothing we have not done. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's been since yeah. 2009. At least make impact. Yes. You Try know, so to reach out. Exactly. There are talents out there. Exactly. You know, so that is, I think that is what it is for me now is, you know, invest heavily in other people not just financially not just but also with the knowledge of the wisdom yeah. of god so that when they come out you know they are born in for god and not become a disgrace to the ministry beautiful, yeah. beautiful. thank you sir the lord will perfect that which concerns you and Amen. give you whatever that it takes because Amen. one of the challenges that we have is managing people yeah you know actually a lot of people love to help but the challenge is that in trying to help, sometimes you put yourself into trouble. Yeah, when you try to help an untrained person, of that course you put your trust in trouble. Is. So I pray that God will give you the wisdom yeah. and the understanding to guide yeah. you towards that. Because mm, you're still here now, we're doing together. <laughs> yeah, of course we're there. We're going to be together. <laughs> yeah. And the Lord is going to help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, that is that. And um, I try to look at outside music. Is there any other thing that you do? Because uh, for me, 
it's just music, 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 music. That's what people know. You see, the thing is, that's what people know. And that's why I always, what I always tell musicians, the mistake musicians do is that they don't invest. Most musicians don't invest. So they, so they keep depending on show money. Mm -hmm. So in their mind, another show is coming. That's in their it. mind, another show is coming. And Forever. listen, I have seen people who live like that, and after 30 years, they have nothing to show for it. Wow. I've seen people who did music for many years. Where they were very popular. Yeah. Going, collecting money, collecting money. And after a time, they didn't have anything to show for it. So the mu mistake musicians make is always thinking, okay, you know what, another event is coming. How much will they give me? You know, mm -hmm. always planning on money that you have not received. That's poverty. Even spending it spending before. money before you receive it, you don't even know if the person is going to fail you. You have gone to college, so you're, it's like you're living, you're living your life from the low, from the low. You know. So the way it's done is yes, you will go for an event. You know, people will give you honorarium, but what I usually tell people is, that, you see that honorarium, it's a seed. It's a seed. It's not for living. You can't live on. What if people st when stop people stop inviting you? What will happen to you? Mm -hmm. You know. So I tell people honorarium is okay to for people to honor you to give you, but you see that cannot become your source of livelihood. So when you get it, invest. take out some savings, plan what to invest in, plan what you know so that you invest in what you are in control of. You are not in control of honorarium because hmm. you cannot decide that people will invite you tomorrow. Wow. You don't have that power to decide who must invite, invite you tomorrow. You. you don't have the power, you know, but you can only control what you invested in, what you are the captain of. Do you understand? So that's what I tell people. So I'm into real, real estate. Wow. So recently I just registered oil and gas hmm. and I'm still doing my clothing. So when I, people don't know, so when they see me, they say, oh, well, this music is good, though. I'm like, yes, music is good. There's, there's something there. But you see, if you have to do something at a certain level, you have to also just make sure as you get this money, you invest it. Make sure you're saving. Make sure you're saving. Make sure that you're investing in something. You know, some, it's just that some, some musicians are too proud. They feel like because they are popular, that is it. there are certain things they can no longer do. Yeah, so even if you're giving them an idea of what to invest in, they'll be looking at you like a homie. Just because they are still raining. Yeah. They'll be looking at a homie, a homie, a homie. I'm like, okay, well, wait until people stop inviting you. Wow. And until the prices of, the, for example, now, before, when people want to invite you, they say, oh, XYZ, two million, then five million. But now, to fly 10 people to and fro, that's You're serious. talking about all of over 1.5 million. That is serious. Something that used to be 250k, 300k. Now you're talking yeah. about 1.5 million. Do you understand? So price, you know, of things are are going up. So invitations. Yes. We also. Yeah, yes. it will, because it's it's COVID affecting came. everyone. Covid came. Yes. And there was nothing. In fact, there was a time. Honesty Music Entertainment is a complete multimedia studio registered in Nigeria. We offer complete media production, our state-of-the-art audiovisual equipment and the latest and also the best you can ever get in town. Our services include analog and digital recording, filming and documentary, live video recording and shooting, record label and artist management, talk shows and reality programs, event packaging, full event planning, marketing, media services, photography, live band and DJ services. For top-notch quality audio, video and other media production services, patronize Honesty Music Entertainment. 17 Olufemi Ojo Street, off Sha Sha Road, Akonwajo, Lagos. Telephone 080-230-65504-090-285-40937 Honesty Music Entertainment, setting standards. Well, it's a, it's a lot of advice for the upcoming. First and foremost, you cannot give people what you don't have. My first studio that I set up myself small, it was my mom that gave me 150,000. 
Not for I'm not right. I don't have you ever seen me write a song? I don't write. I don't write. I have never written. <laughs>